All right, so we're doing another one of these, our little drunk reviews here, but there's a lot more people this time. Everyone wants to go around the circle, introduce themselves. Jordan, what's up? Circle. Hi, I'm Jeff. Jeff did the last one, he's a dick. Jenny. Oh. Hi, I'm Rebecca Shalon. You can follow me on Instagram. Oh, oh. fuck plugs already. You guys know me. <laughs> I'm James. And now we're going to be reviewing House of Wax. Yay. 2005, bitches. Damn it, Bryn. Okay. Hey guys, so uh, we're watching House of Wax 2005. It's the drunk review. We're all drunk. That's the best part you of this review out because my this feet. movie, this movie is not very good. It's better than some people it's think a good it is, movie. but it's not very good. And it stars Paris Hilton. So what the fuck are you expecting? This movie is essentially like watching something from my high school age. The dialogue, everyone, how everyone acts, the fact that know, people are just having like make out pits. Right. It's just it was That's an unfortunate good. reminder of how my high school life was. No, yeah, because he was still in high school. He's, he's actually the school. only one of us that was still in high school when this movie came out. Excuse me, I was in high school. When this movie Did you know Australians graduate at 16? What the fuck is that? Fuck and no, West just oh, went there at 18. That's so fucking weird, Wait, you know, like, even, even in the UK, they what have, like, Whistler, Australia. They, they Whistler, they never... So this movie is about a group of friends who, um... <laughs> go on a trip. I think they're going to a concert. I, I think that's the plan. They're going game. somewhere. Football game. That's right. They're the worst no, travelers. They, they have no preparation. Yeah. And there's, like, three cars going... Two of them have tickets, one of them doesn't. The one that doesn't is the black dude in Paris Hilton. And for Hilton. some reason they're kind of And Paris Hilton gets to fuck a black dude. Savage. His whole person in the movie is his whole character is that he gets to fuck Paris Hilton. From the blowjob that introduces him to uh, his death scene where he dies off screen. He's such a second shortly he after fucking Paris Hilton. He's such a she secondary character that he never yes. gets She did anything. start the movie. No. Paris Hilton he also starts and ends the movie underneath. He doesn't get an actual sex scene. He doesn't actually get an actual character. He doesn't even get an actual. He gets a fake blowjob. Does he get a name? Probably. Who the fuck is a black guy Blake? I know a guy named Blake. A black guy? Yeah. Oh, fuck rat. He was the bachelor in Australia. Oh, that's terrible. That's not a bachelor. That's a fake name. There's some really fun scenes early on that mean fucking nothing. And there's a scene where Alicia Cuthbert falls into roadkill. And that's pretty much where the movie starts. This movie is 113 minutes long. That could have been 93. So that guy who played the roadkill in Pick Ripper? Yeah, right? He played Charles Manson in Mindhunter. But he he appears as a hillbilly Party character Saturday. who you think what? is actually a threat to what? the main character, but then he turns out to not be, and then he is actually not. Yeah. We oh, will eventually. Sound it out. Out. Jeremy, uh, out of seven, myself. Jeremy, none of this fucking movie matters until we get to the wax. Yeah. And once it does, this movie goes from like 50-ish minutes of fucking nonsense to like a solid <laughs> fucking actually, horror movie. That's actually like, true though. This movie turns into a movie. fucking that's, good that's horror a movie. Fair review. There's a fair um, This movie has three fucking great girl or more ones. And the first one yes. is when fucking <laughs> Supernatural fucking Sam Which by the way, can we comment on his Justin Bieber haircut? Oh, his Justin incredibly Bieber. bad face of mustache I want to be a cholo fucking mustache that he's got. <laughs> wow. Did he even have a mustache? Yeah. But he gets his real, fucking Achilles tendon cut and it is fucking when it's reapplied, it's thicker Probably. when it's reapplied than it was when it's... it was actually on his face. And this movie does exist in a post-Scream, post-Blair Witch uh, world, which is why this movie fucking starts. Even the trailer for this movie starts with fucking found footage. Fucking stupid, because it's in the movie and it's dumb. Chad Michael Murray. <laughs> the whole time, that's all I have met Chad about. Michael Murray. Oh, 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 we do this. We do this again. Chad Michael Murray signed the front. And the back of my movie. It says, thanks for all that you do. So this movie, it's got great gore. It's got, we fucking cut Achilles. We cut fingers off. We cut shit off. The gore in this movie that is fucking really fantastic. It's all gross. When they stab Paris Hilton's heel. We, we, we telegraphed it for the minute the part of your Yeah, yeah. peeling the face and the fucking axe here. cuts. Oh, fucking supernatural's yeah. face off. Oh. We watched the second movie we watched where we fucking kill Sam Winchester because he, he dies, dies in the, the remake of Friday. Yeah, he does. We like smart chicks. We like good gore. This movie is 40 minutes too long. It does not have a good pace. You do not care about anything that's happening to the main characters in the essential. Other than the three, there's minutes. three characters. Who kind not of even. Uh, and what, what happens is, then there's a giant narrative divide. We focus on Alicia Cuthbert, 
Pattinson. And Chad Michael Murray and Jared Padalecki for like, like a good, like, almost like, solid like, hour. And like, then like, we come back like, to Paris Hilton. Like, yeah, we go away. Paris Hilton disappears. I completely the forgot she was in the who movie. Who was named Richard Richard? Yeah. Robert Richard. Robert. Sorry, Robert Richard. And, and I say Richard like a dick because his name is R I apostrophe Chard. The director of this movie. This is his first movie. He has now directed. All the non taken taken movies. So, like the one where Liam Neeson's on a train, me. and the other one where Liam Neeson's on a train, and the one where Liam Neeson's on a plane. I don't <laughs> know. Wait, 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 did he do uh, Cold Pursuit? No. He's now directing The Rock in Jungle Cruise, which is about to come out, and he's also doing Black Fucking Adam. Chad <laughs> Michael Murray is awesome, Alicia Cuthbert's awesome. Yeah. Sam fucking Winchester no, guys. Oh, awesome. Harrison Ford was okay, actually. I no, she's not. She's not. We played it hey, again. Girl. Hang and on, also, wait, 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 wait. I love Stars of Blind. I don't care what anyone says. So if we played a drinking game that we had to drink every time. Oh, Fuck, hang on one second. Oh, every time Carousel so acted terribly, we had to drink. We drank every time she was on screen. She's fucking terrible. Sure. Out of what? seven. Out of seven, like what? Jeremy's dumbass <laughs> reviews. What is your review? Out of seven of House of Wax, uh, I'd give it a solid fucking two. Uh, Jeff, what is your rating out of seven for House of Wax 2005? He's Three wax three. fingers out of seven. I Jenny. thought I Jenny. Would, I thought I would give it a one. <laughs> then Continue. I watched it, and I really liked it. I liked how flawed it was. I liked how long it was. I like Paris Hilton in it. I like that it was 2005. <laughs> and the yeah, ending was awesome. And like that face part with the tears. Yeah, I think I would. I think I would give it like a five. Place. Going into it with the one, so like I'm really yeah. like. I, had yeah, five. I thought it was gonna suck. What's half of seven? Three and a half. Three and a half. You should have seen the ending. We got three and a half oh. stars. I liked that it was 2005 as well. The ending was very good. There was some very like gruesome. Things and I think they relied on the gore part a lot. I didn't hate Paris Hilton, I didn't hate the acting, but it was very long and I couldn't follow the storyline and it wasn't like great. But I loved that the girl was smart and she was pretty great. And Chad Michael Murray creeped me out. I didn't enjoy the sexual tension between the siblings though. Like, can we stop that? Like, can we stop that as <laughs> no Hollywood, way. as people? Can Hollywood we stop? It. They were doing it before you can go in the pool. Between siblings. Carly and Nick definitely want to bang in this movie. Yelling too much. I'm going to sit here and call this a 4 out of 7. Because this movie has a lot of good shit to it. It's got good gore. The ending's great. Like, once the house goes to wax, it is so fucking cool, man. It's everything that the Dark Castle guys did well. Like, House on Haunted Hill, 13 Ghosts, Gothica, Ghost Ship. They all have, like, one great... Fucking thing about him. He's telling Penn Teller right now. So they all have kind of one good thing. This movie does the gore and the like, that wax side of shit super fucking well. Yeah. Like it just does it. Everything about the wax it was super side awesome. of this movie is Whoa. so fucking rad. Lots of jumps. And like it's scary. terrible. I mean, it's from 2005. The mm -hmm. 2000s suck for all. It sucks. It's just fucking terrible. It's I like, was graduating high school. On a scale of one to seven, I'd give it a B plus one thumb. B plus Fuck one. you! What's your rating out of seven? I'll give it a good solid four. On a pilly jungle, the, the, the set decoration was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, we didn't talk and about the set decoration. Was phenomenal. The, they, yeah. the, the continuity was within great. that was yeah. great. Um, great helicopter shots. Like, like cinematographically, it's perfect. Perfect the handheld stuff. It was they did well. It was it was well shot. Yeah, and they used their gear. They were they, fucking they, they knew how to do do what they did. And on a technical level, it's a solid film. Mm. It's a 2 out of 7 for me, and that's it. Mm. Fuck Bam! Yeah. Fuck <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.